Hello friends. Welcome to the YouTube channel of Sunrise ILTS Academy. We are here to help you prepare for your ILTS exam. And without further ado, let's look at your today's ILTS speaking test topic. Describe an ambition that you haven't achieved. You should say what it is, why you haven't achieved it, what you did, and how you felt about it. And here is your sample answer. In our life, there are many goals that remain unattained. These goals might be unrealistic sometimes, but sometimes we feel as if we can achieve them. The only problem is that we are not ready to pay the price for some ambitious goals. In my childhood, I used to stand in awe of civil servants called the IAS. IAS stands for Indian Administrative Service. The IAS officers were like heroes to my mind in those days, and I was always dreaming of becoming an IAS officer someday. But, it was not just a childhood dream. When I entered college, I started taking this ambition seriously. There is an entrance test that we have to pass in order to get selected for the IAS post. The test is in three stages. The first stage is a written test called prelims. The second stage is called mains where one has to write a long essay on a particular subject. And the third stage is called the interview where a panel of retired IAS officers asks you questions and tests your ability. In those days I would study 10 hours a day. I would eat a frugal meal and wake up up at 5 in the morning, for a year one prepared for the test, and then came the time of the prelims exam. I passed that test very easily. After that came the mains exam. I chose history as my main subject, and fortunately I did well in that exam too. But, in the interview, I could hardly speak in front of the experts panel, and when the results came, I was very much disappointed as my name was not on the list of selected candidates. I was 23 at that time. I could take the exam the next year. But, my family was passing through a very bad phase. My father had just retired from his job, and my mother needed medical care for her kidney troubles. In these circumstances, it was not possible for me to wait for another year and stay at home preparing for the exam. I needed a job to support my family. Luckily. I got a job as a clerk at a local bank. Initially, it was not very easy to cope with my new circumstances, and I was quite upset for some weeks about my unfulfilled dream. But, we have to move on and accept whatever destiny has decided for us. Today, when I look back upon those days, I still feel a pang of regret for not achieving that dream. But, I am also very happy that I have achieved the post of branch manager at the same bank after years of hard work.